Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Melvin, and I'm uh, just getting ready to settle into uh, to my Sabbath rest and uh, just rest in, in, in all of the goodness of God and His tender mercies, His loving kindness, and um, just grateful uh, that He's brought me to another Shabbat where I can just settle in and, and rest with Him. Uh, forgive my my voice, but uh, my granddaughter Serenity had her her final game of the season. As far as uh, the senior night was concerned, she plays volleyball for Escondido High, and um, and I was um, cheerleading last night. So uh, I don't have much voice left, but I think I have enough voice to uh, to, to do this tonight. So so I'm gonna try to speak up. So um, bear with me. Um, for those of you who, who decided to think with me about those questions that uh, I asked in, 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 in the last video, um, I, I'm grateful that we, our hearts have connected like that. And, um, and we'll just see what, you know, what, what comes out of that. Um, um, I, what I want to do, though, is before I actually uh, start talking more about that, in detail is uh, I want to I want to pray I want us to pray together first and uh, then I'm just going to read uh, a text of scripture and then I want us to uh, Salah I, I think about that to meditate on that and then I'm a, we're gonna come back and uh, see what God says to us um, <clears throat> uh, let's 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 pray together the 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 our father prayer uh, our Father, Abba, Father, and what a blessing it is to be your chosen, your call, to be one of your children, and to be able to know you as Abba. And we're grateful that our our Savior, Yeshua, Jesus, the Christ, came and, and introduced you to us and taught us to pray like this. And he said, when you, when you pray, when you pray, when you, when you talk to your creator, to your sustainer, I want you to know that he's your father, your Abba. So our father, so we address you as father. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. And, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we want nothing more than for that to happen. And we want to, while we remain here, uh, to be those vessels. We want to be that, that connecting point between you, between heaven and earth, so your will can be done. And our lives are surrendered to you in that, uh, so that your will can be done uh, on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, give us this day. Thank you for this day, our, our daily bread. Uh, the bread that Jesus talked about when he said it, uh, my meat is to do the will of him who sent me. So thank you for each day giving us an assignment uh, that will glorify you, that will bring honor to your name. Thank you for uh, the bread that comes down from heaven. And thank you also, Father, for uh, the, the things that sustain us uh, in life that are on our tables, the, the, the common bread uh, and meat on, on our tables. We're grateful for that uh, as well. Um, Father, uh, we're, we're asking that you will uh, forgive us our, our, our debts as we forgive our debtors. We come to you with grateful hearts, realizing that you have forgiven us our trespasses. And you have cast our sins as far as the east is from the west. And so we want to say thank you. And, and, and Father, we, we release each and every one, Father, that we may have any art against and so that uh, we don't uh, get in, in the way of you uh, blessing us, of you cleansing us, of you restoring uh, us. Uh, Father, we ask that you will uh, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the power of the evil one. And thank you for the blessed, hopeful Father, uh, that we 
uh, we'll, we'll, we will be delivered. Uh, and uh, we're grateful that in this life, God, you sustain us, you, uh, you protect us, you keep us. Father, yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. So be it. Amen. Um, if you have your Bibles, let's read from um, uh, our brother Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 48. Give you a moment to, uh, to get there. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 48. I'm, I'm reading from the New American Standard uh, version of Let's read it together. Hear this, O house of Jacob, who are named Israel and who came forth from the loins of Judah, who swear by the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth nor in righteousness. And I, I trust that's not you, beloved. For they call themselves after the holy city and lean on the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. I declared the former things long ago and they went forth from my mouth and I proclaimed them. Suddenly I acted and they came to pass because I know that you are obstinate and your neck is an iron sinew and your forehead bronze. Therefore, I declared them to you long ago. Before they took place, I proclaimed them to you. Lest you should say, my idol has done them and my graven image and my molten image have commanded them. You have heard, look at all this, and you will not declare it? I proclaim to you new things from this time, even hidden things which you have not known. They are created now and not long ago. In other words, they're for you, they're for this generation. Let's go back to the text. They are created now and not long ago. And before today, you have not heard them. Lest you should say, behold. I already knew that. Oh, I knew them. You have not heard. You have not known. Even from long ago, your ear has not been open. Because I knew that you would deal very treacherously. And you have been called a rebel from birth for the sake of my name. I delay my wrath. And for my praise, I restrain it for you in order not to cut you off. Somebody ought to be listening to this. Somebody ought to be listening to this. Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, 
I will act. For how can my name be profaned and my glory I will not give to another? I want to go back to verse 6. Because what we're looking for and what we're asking for and what we're searching for is the day that's been hidden in plain sight. The day that I, I believe that God is about to reveal to those who are his, those who have a reservation and who will be seated at the table at the wedding supper of the Lamb. Verse 6, you have heard, look at all this, and you will not declare it? I, I, I almost want to preach right here. You know, when he says, look at all this, look at Look at the signs, look at the seasons, look at the, the knowledge that is coming forth for, for the body of Christ. Look at the revelations, look at, look at all that God is doing to, to, to tell us that, that he is coming. Look at all this. And, 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 and you, will you not declare it? I proclaim to you new things from this time. That's why we have to stay open, beloved. Because this is the this is the generation. This is this is the this is the generation that God is speaking to, that God is preparing for the marriage supper of the Lamb. To be caught up to meet him in the clouds. Hidden things which you have not known. They are created now and not long ago. That's why we need to be listening fresh. Don't get caught up in old, you know, still cliches. No man knows the day or the hour. And listen to what God says. They are created now and not long ago, and before today you have not heard them. Lest you should say, I behold, I knew them. You have not heard, you have not known, even from long ago, your ear has not been opened. But now God wants to open the ears of those who are listening. God wants to open the eyes of those who are looking. God wants to, to make it clear, make it plain, that he's coming back for his beloved. Let's pray this out. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the signs, we thank you for the season that we're in. We thank you for hearts that believe what you're doing, what you're seeing, what you're saying to us. And we want to touch and agree right here as, as your bride, as, as your body, as your children. Teach us, show us, so that we will not be deceived or led astray. We want to be aware and to know that you're near, that you're coming. We love you. We long for you. We desire to know. Tell us. Teach us.